Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The heart, a small but mighty organ, pumps life through our veins, sustaining every moment we are alive. Yet, for millions of people, this crucial organ doesn't always beat the way it should. Whether due to age, disease, or injury, irregular heartbeats can lead to life-threatening conditions. In the early 20th century, before advanced cardiac treatments were available, people with serious heart rhythm problems often had little hope. But in the 1950s, a groundbreaking invention emerged that would change all that. The pacemaker, a small device that could regulate heartbeats and save countless lives. This is the story of how the pacemaker was invented and the remarkable minds behind it. The history of the pacemaker is a story of innovation driven by necessity, scientific curiosity, and a deep desire to save lives. Before its invention, physicians could do little to treat conditions like heart block, a condition where the heart's electrical signals are disrupted, causing dangerously slow or irregular heartbeats. In such cases, patients often experience blackouts, heart failure, and even sudden death. While doctors could attempt to stimulate the heart externally, the methods were rudimentary and far from reliable. The pacemaker, as we know it today, would have seemed like science fiction. It wasn't until 1932 that Albert Hyman, a New York cardiologist, and his brother Charles first attempted to create an electrical device that could stimulate the heart to beat. Known as the artificial pacemaker, it was hand-cranked and designed to send electrical pulses to the heart, but it faced skepticism and wasn't widely adopted. The real breakthrough, however, came during the mid-20th century, when two remarkable men would revolutionize cardiac care. The first was Dr. Paul Zoll, an American cardiologist. In the 1950s, Zoll began experimenting with external electrical stimulation of the heart. He discovered that by applying an electrical current through the skin, he could regulate heartbeats in patients suffering from arrhythmias. Zoll's work laid the foundation for modern pacemakers, though his devices were large, cumbersome, and required patients to be attached to a machine, far from practical for daily life. Nevertheless, Zoll's efforts demonstrated that electrical stimulation could, in fact, save lives. His research paved the way for the development of implantable pacemakers, but the journey was far from over. Meanwhile, halfway across the globe, a Canadian electrical engineer named John Hopps was conducting research that would change the field forever. Hopps had no formal background in medicine, but in the early 1950s, he was working with the National Research Council of Canada on a project that involved hypothermia and the human heart. Hopps found that when the body was cooled to a certain temperature, the heart could stop beating. He theorized that if electrical stimulation could start a stopped heart, it could also be used to regulate its beat. Inspired by this idea, he developed the world's first external pacemaker in 1951. The device, however, was bulky and relied on vacuum tubes, making it impractical for long-term use. But Hopps had proven the concept. Artificially stimulating the heart with electricity was not only possible, but effective. The final piece of the puzzle came from Sweden, where two brilliant minds, Dr. Eik Senning, a heart surgeon, and Rune Elmqvist, an engineer and inventor, would collaborate to create the first fully implantable pacemaker. In 1958, they were approached by a patient named Arne Larsson, whose heart condition had deteriorated to the point where he was in constant danger of dying from heart block. Desperate for a solution, Senning and Elmqvist took on the challenge of designing a pacemaker that could be placed inside Larsson's chest, regulating his heart continuously without the need for external equipment. Elmqvist, who had already invented the inkjet EKG, engineered a pacemaker that was small enough to be implanted, but powerful enough to deliver the necessary electrical pulses. 
On October 8, 1958, history was made. Senning performed the surgery, and the first pacemaker was successfully implanted into Arn Larson. The device, though revolutionary, was far from perfect. It failed after only a few hours, but Senning and Elmquist were undeterred. They quickly developed a second device, which was successfully implanted and worked for several months. Arna Larson would go on to live for many years, outliving both Senning and Elmquist, thanks to the multiple pacemakers he received throughout his life. While this was a significant breakthrough, the early pacemakers were not without their challenges. The first devices were large, had short battery lives, and often had to be replaced through surgery. Additionally, there were concerns about infection and the body's ability to tolerate a foreign object for long periods. However, these issues only spurred further innovation. By the 1960s, researchers were developing smaller, more reliable pacemakers that could last for years. The invention of the lithium battery by Wilson Greatbatch in 1960 was a major leap forward. Greatbatch's contribution to pacemaker technology cannot be understated. His lithium battery not only provided a longer-lasting power source, but also made the pacemaker smaller and more efficient, further improving the lives of those who relied on it. From the early experiments of Hyman and Zoll, to the groundbreaking work of Hopps, Senning, and Elmquist, the pacemaker's evolution was a global effort that took decades of perseverance and collaboration. The invention of the pacemaker transformed cardiology, providing a lifeline for those suffering from heart rhythm disorders. Before the pacemaker, the life expectancy for patients with severe arrhythmias was tragically short. Today, thanks to the pacemaker, millions of people lead normal, healthy lives. The modern pacemaker is a sophisticated device capable of adjusting to the body's needs, monitoring heart activity, and delivering electrical impulses when necessary. Some models even allow doctors to remotely monitor patients, ensuring they receive the best care possible without invasive procedures. The pacemaker's journey from concept to life-saving device is a testament to human ingenuity and the desire to save lives. Its impact has been profound, extending beyond cardiology into the broader field of medical technology. The legacy of those who worked tirelessly to perfect this device lives on, not only in the technology itself, but in the millions of people who owe their lives to it. As we look to the future, pacemaker technology continues to evolve, with wireless and leadless pacemakers being developed to further reduce complications and improve patient comfort. The potential for this device to save even more lives is immense proving that, though small, the pacemaker has an enormous impact on human health and longevity. The story of the pacemaker is far from over, but its past remains a remarkable chapter in the history of medical science. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed learning about how pacemaker was invented to save lives and want to see more deep dives into the engineering world, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.